This is an informedtrades.com introduction to the Stochastic Momentum Index. The indicator was introduced in 1993 by William Blau, intended to be a faster, less erratic version of the traditional stochastic oscillator, uh, whereas the traditional indicator weighs the current close against the period's high and low. Blau's oscillator evaluates the current close against the midpoint of the high and low. Like other oscillators, the stochastic momentum index is most useful for predicting turning points, uh, which it does by giving a reading of whether an asset is over or undervalued, uh, both of which are conditions that suggest the approach of a turning point in the direction of the asset's trend. Since the oscillator's overbought and oversold signals are not really reliable in a trending market, the indicator is best paired with some tool for predicting the trendiness of the market, such as R-squared or the Chandy Momentum Oscillator. All right, so there are a few stages to the calculation of the Stochastic Momentum Index. Uh, after a period is selected, the first step is to determine C, the center of the range between the maximum high and minimum low within the period range. So C equals the maximum high plus the maximum low divided by two. The next step is to subtract the C value from the current close in order to get D, the distance between the midpoint and the current close. So D equals current close minus center. Uh, now the indicator smooths this distance value twice first multiplying it by an exponential moving average with a standard period of three, and then multiplying the resulting sum again by the same exponential moving average to produce a double smoothed distance value. Uh, next, a different distance value is double smoothed. This is the distance between the maximum high and the minimum low. Uh, this is done by first subtracting the minimum low from the max high, multiplying the result by another of the same exponential moving averages, and then multiplying this new sum by yet another EMA, dividing this by two to produce DHL2, the double smoothed measure of difference between the max high and minimum low. The indicator's value is finally calculated by dividing DS2, the double smoothed distance between the current close and the midpoint, Dividing that by DHL2, the double smooth distance between the maximum high and the minimum low, and the result of this division is multiplied by 100 to get the oscillator's value. So the indicator's output ranges from negative 100 to positive 100, so a 200 point range. On a basic level, the closer the indicator's value is to one of these extremes or limits, the more likely it is that a reversal will occur in the direction of the trend. Uh, a common standard is that any value above the threshold of positive 40 implies that an asset is overbought and therefore likely to face a pullback, whereas values below the threshold of negative 40 suggest that the asset is oversold and may be approaching a turning point. In this context, uh, an increase in the indicator's value beyond positive 40 constitutes an opportunity to sell in anticipation of a pullback, whereas a decrease in the indicator to a level below negative 40 constitutes an opportunity to buy in anticipation of a positive trend. Since the indicator includes a moving average, uh, further signals can be taken from crossovers between the indicator's two lines. Uh, when the SMI crosses the moving average from below, it results in a buy signal, whereas when the SMI crosses the moving average from above, it's a sell signal. Uh, typically, crossovers in the range between negative 15 and positive 15 are considered too neutral to be relied on as signals. Finally, while divergences are uncommon with this indicator, they can be used to reinforce other signals and they constitute strong signals themselves. Uh, a bullish divergence, which is when price falls as the indicator climbs higher, uh, constitutes a buy signal by suggesting that the asset is undervalued by the current price. Uh, a bearish divergence, however, 
um, where price increases as the indicator falls implies a sell signal since the asset may be overvalued. Here is an example taken from the dollar Swiss franc pair in Forex. These red arrows indicate basic buy signals where the indicator has dipped solidly below negative 40. Uh, these green arrows indicate the associated uh, or complementary crossovers that can be used to reinforce the oversold, uh, overbought type signals. Uh, these red arrows indicate basic sell signals where the indicator has risen above positive 40, uh, reinforced once again by the affiliated crossovers indicated with green arrows. These two red bars reflect a slight divergence between indicator and price in the space between these two price peaks, uh, underscoring the sell signal associated with the uh, indicator's second spike above positive 40 at the second peak. All right, thanks for listening. Uh, this has been an introduction to the Stochastic Momentum Index. If you've got any questions or knowledge to share, Come join us in our learning community at informedtrades.com. Thanks for watching and good luck in your trading.